I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for taking keen interest in my videos and sending requests for some challenging questions. This video is for Mr. Sumit Kumar, who is trying hard to get into some leading institute in India. Now, I got similar requests from students who wants to get into American universities, European universities, and even to Canada and Australia. Now, everywhere you have some challenging questions in the test papers. So what I've done here is collected some excellent questions from a wide variety of topics and put them in this particular playlist. I hope if you go through this playlist set of 20, 25 questions, you can review the concepts learned in high school and get excellent marks for any entrance examination, right? So here is a question which is based on logarithms. It is, let A, B, C, and D be positive integers such that log to the base A of B is 3 over 2 and log to the base C of D is 5 over 4. If A minus C is 9, then find the value of B minus D. Four choices are given to you. You can actually pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, these multiple choice questions may involve straight answers, or they could be open response where your method is very important. But here, we will assume that this is not an open response question, but it is a straight multiple choice question given to you. Okay. And we'll also assume that the calculator is allowed, right? That is what we are assuming to solve this particular question. So what we are given here is log to the base A of B is 3 over 2. Now you can write this equation in exponential form. So you can write B as equal to A to the power of 3 by 2. Correct? You're also given that log to the base C of D is 5 over 4. So D is equal to C to the power of 5 over 4. So these two things give you two different equations to work with. Now what else is given to us? We are also given that A minus C is 9. A minus C is 9. Now from these equations, what do you see? Well, we want B minus D. All these are whole numbers. Do you see that? So we are talking about a perfect square here. And we are talking about C to be power of 4, right? So no decimals or, or irrational numbers. Perfect. So we will actually, from here, make an educated guess of number and then try it out. And we also see that C is smaller. So the strategy here is C, C is uh, smaller and is power of 4. Since we have d as c to the power of 5 over 4. So let c equals to 16. Since we know 16 is 2 to the power of 4 and that is the reason why I am assuming c to be 16, right? So, so when you have multiple choice question, you have to work with some numbers to get to the result. You are getting the psychology, right? So the strategy rather. So we assume that c is 2 to the power of 4 or 16. So if that is so, then what is the value of d? In that case, d should be equal to what? d will be uh, 16 to the power of 5 over 4, correct? Which is to say it is equal to 32, right? That is to say it is 32 because 1 fourth power of 16, let's do like this, it is fourth root of 16 to the power of 5. Is that clear? So fourth root is 2, so we get 2 to the power of 5, which is 32. I'm showing all these steps only for you to understand the whole process. Correct? Now, when we had assumed C to be 16, in that case, from this particular equation, what is A equals to? Well, A minus C is equal to 9. So A should be equal to 9 plus C. So A should be equal to 9 plus 16. So A is 25 for you. 
करेक्ट परफेक्ट सो इफ ए इज ट्वेंटी फाइव फॉर यू देन वॉट इज बी वेल वी नो दैट बी इज इक्वल टू ए टू द पावर ऑफ थ्री ओवर टू सो बी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव टू द पावर ऑफ थ्री ओवर टू राइट सो विच इज इक्वल टू फाइव क्यू और वन ट्वेंटी फाइव इज दैट क्लियर सो वी गेट अ वैल्यू ऑफ बी ऑल्सो परफेक्ट नाउ सिंस वी हैव बोथ द वैल्यूज द वैल्यू ऑफ बी एंड डी वी कैन एक्चुअली फाइंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन बी एंड डी सो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन बी एंड डी इक्वल्स टू वेल बी इज हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड डी फॉर एस इज थर्टी टू एंड दर डिफरेंस क्लियरली इज नाइंटी थ्री सो ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज दैट क्लियर नाउ यू माइट थिंक दैट दिस इज सो मच ऑफ वर्क टू डू इन एनी टेस्ट पेपर फॉर अ मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन वेल ऑफ कोर्स एट दिस लेवल ऑफ टेस्ट पेपर यू विल हैव टू डू लॉट ऑफ वर्क बट लेट्स बी वेरी क्लियर अबाउट इट The numbers which we selected are very useful numbers, right? So you have been working with these numbers quite a bit. Remember the right triangle, three, four, and five. This is a very useful triangle, and all the multiples of this triangle can be tried in such cases. Perfect. And of course, when we are looking for high powers, taking base as two or three is not a bad option at all. right so i hope this strategy or the tips which i'm talking about right so we're talking about tips and strategies to solve the questions they should help you to get the right answer feel free to write your comment share your views and if you really like and subscribe to my videos that be great share my videos with your friends and also the questions which you come across thanks and all the best